morning everybody <clears throat> mic check i think that's working <clears throat> good morning good morning to another uh session here glad you're with me here 8 a.m eastern i got my coffee hope you got yours this is coffee with the cowbell glad to see you this morning I am your host, Ricardo Wilkins, resident teams geek here to geek out with you early morning before the day begins to talk about teams. So I hope that's why you're here. If not, you can hang out with me anyway. Um, with that said, <clears throat> if you are joining on one of five areas, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch and Facebook, uh, if you have access to chat, feel free to use it to uh, put a question or comment in. Uh, good morning, Russ. I see you there. If you're out there, hit me up with a hello or a good morning. That'd be great. But if you all do have any questions or any topics you were hoping might get discussed, feel free to put that in the chat. I'm happy to pivot um, on any of those things. In a perfect world, this would be a session where folks come with tons of questions and we just talk it out. Um, but uh, I'm also happy to just geek out on topics of, uh, of my choice. <laughs> All right. So uh, with that said, um, again, hit me with a hello or anything on the chat. And um, but with that said, uh, I always think of things from the week that have occurred. And so to for me today, the uh, the word of the day is sharing. Sharing is caring. <laughs> and, um, you know, there are a lot of sharing in Teams and Office 365 is a very common thing. We, we create things, then we want people to be able to see them, obviously. Um, how to share, to me, I think is, is relatively intuitive, but I wanted to review that. Uh, someone, had asked, someone had asked me to share something the other day, and that's what kind of made me think about this. Um, and, uh, so, you know, there's lots of, 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 different ways to share before I even get to what you would think I would show, which is the share button and the share, um, you know, UI, I want to, uh, talk about just sharing links in general. So let me show you what I mean there. So. In this case, let's uh, go to uh, PowerPoint. Um, in fact, uh, let's go here. I get a simple little deck here. Hopefully, one that is stored in my OneDrive. How is it? How is it that PowerPoint won't work? <laughs> All right, so I think it is, let's try, oops. Okay, we got a little snafu here. Let's try that one more time. There we go. All right, the, the wonders of demoing live. Okay, we're good now. All right, um, let's go with this test one which I believe is in my OneDrive. Ricardo, how can you tell? A um, couple ways, and let's see if I can get, I don't have my zoom in on here. The first way I usually tell is, uh, and I know you can't see it, but up in the, up in the top here, uh, there is a save icon, right, with a, uh, like a sync kind of a uh, symbol. That's usually how I know my this thing is saved cloud base. I can also click on the title here and you can see the its location Ricardo OneDrive blah blah blah. Okay. Why is that important? To me that's important because uh you know, I if if I am saved locally, to me that's usually a problem if for, for nothing else that um I don't really 
to have like a backup anymore, right? If my PC goes down, you know, so does the file. So I like stuff to be online. And then, of course, especially for, for sharing purposes. Um, and so the only reason I wanted to make sure of that is there is because what I'm really trying to show here is how do I share this file? We certainly have share here, but I'm not really going to go there just yet. That's this is it eventually where we're going to get to. But in the info, you can see that there's a share button there as well. And there's also copy path, copy local path. OK. As you might expect, so copy local path, if I cop if I click that and let's open up notepad and and paste it and I'll make this a little bigger. Um, what you can see there is that's copying, as it said, the local path, the C drive. This isn't going to help me from sharing with my colleagues, giving them the uh, you are the, the file path of my local machine. That's not going to help. Right. The other one, copy path, if I click that, it puts into my clipboard. Uh, let's work, wrap it. Uh, this URL to my OneDrive document. Uh, and if you even can notice and make it even a little bigger, the N web equal one, it's going to open up in the web. This is useful. Again, I haven't hit the share button and all the fancy UI yet, but if I control C on that and come into teams, um, let's go to a chat with, uh, with Bob here, uh, control V. I can then share that file. Now, hopefully you notice it was quick, but hopefully you noticed what happened there. I'll do it one more time. Get rid of all of that. Big long URL, paste it. It gets converted into a smaller URL, the, the actual name of the file, a nice thumbnail, and easy access to a uh, drop down for me to change, to further change the uh, permissions on this document. What it is by default, I know it's small, you can't read it, but it says people with existing access can use the link. Anybody that I've, that I've already shared this with or, or if this file was in a location that is already shared out, this link is going to work. In this case with Bob, I haven't shared out this file before. I don't think Bob has access. So that's when I now have to come in and make some changes specific to sharing with Bob. Now, what would make sense here? I have a lot of options. For instance, anyone with the link would work because Bob is anyone on the planet with the Internet. He could use this. That really opens it up a lot wider than I had intended. In this case, for me, the best option would be people currently in this chat. I love that option. You know, these are settings back in the day that you'd have to, you know, go through a lot of file management and SharePoint and whatnot to put just the right permission on a file in order to share it. And now the share UI is intuitive, knows the context in which you're sharing and gives you these great options like, hey, set this thing up for everybody in the chat. In this case, it's just Bob. This could be five people I'm chatting with and it's going to set my permission so those specific five people can see this. As you can see down here, not only see it, but edit it. I could make it view only, but it's set to edit. I could block download. I can, I can do a lot of things in this UI from a sharing perspective. I hit apply. It has changed this and it now says people currently in this chat with the link can edit. And so now I can hit share and Bob is able uh, to get that file just fine. But again, notice I kind of started non-traditionally by using the path and what I'm really trying to show there, whether it's here in uh, in the uh, URL uh, or here in the uh, PowerPoint desktop, <laughs> whether it's grabbing, um, I'm on the wrong thing here because admin does not have access. But I could have put that URL in a uh, <clears throat> browser and grabbed it and used that. 
there's lots of different ways to share essentially okay and um teams is is aware of all of that um if i put that same link over in channel chat i believe it's going to turn into the you know do that same uh transformation um there are some places though i'm trying to think of an example let's go with um well, let's let's do this let's open up outlook i'm gonna do this really as a way to show yet another feature i wanted to share that link in an email control v and paste it now right here it is the, the big long ugly url i'm gonna hit space at the bottom at the back when I hit this, when I hit space, hopefully you were no, noticing there. That was enough to make to convert it into a hyperlink. So it converted into a hyperlink, and it put a little PowerPoint symbol. That's nice as well. I don't think you can see that, but there's a little PowerPoint thumbnail or icon at the beginning of this. But in 2022, as a viewer of Coffee with the Cowbell telling you don't give anybody big ugly links like this in 2022 we don't have to live like that okay click somewhere in this url hit either control k or um insert link and uh you can see here and this is outlook specific you can see the address there and you can see uh what am i doing here I want to do control K and I wanted to change the text to display. What am I doing wrong here? Uh, let's do remove link control. K. there we go. I paste the link there and I want the text to display to be something like test one dot PPT PPTX. Oops. Now I did that wrong again. I chose just a a uh, little segment there. Now I'm all jacked up. Let's go one more time. Control V. Of course, now it's it did it's doing what I wanted it to do in the first place for the sole purpose of messing up my demo. Yep. Now it's being very smart uh, for me. The essentially the goal of what I was trying to do here. <laughs> is to come in here and uh you see the urls there text to display is up there i wanted to make this look better i said my file in there mm, good grief and so that ugly url becomes a let me make can i make this bigger becomes a a better you know a more readable you uh title for the file so while Out outlook tried to make me look bad by auto doing this for me on the fly which is good i guess but um what i was really trying to show is something like that control k or the link button turn your ugly urls that you're trying to share into readable uh, url so we should never have to give our colleagues big long urls because either outlook will do it for us or we can um, change the, we should change the name of it to something more readable. Thank you, Outlook, for quote unquote helping me there. Um, and that, you know, that control K is going to apply most any most places you would place the link that understands the concept of a, like a HTML link. So Outlook being one of those places, Word, uh, I think. Uh, I don't, I don't think Word will even try to, maybe, maybe, oops, I'm in the wrong area here. Hold on one sec. Interesting. Uh, da, da, da. Word. If I were to put that same URL. taking forever but again i don't think it's going to change it it might though we'll, we'll give it a shot while that's going 
super slow. Okay. Very nice. It's, it's chugging along. Live demo, and it's getting a little unresponsive on me. I went too far. I should have never opened Word. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's see what's it doing here. All right, while that's trying to come back to life, again, the, the goal here was <clears throat> showing that URL. But then, of course, we did show the share UI as well. That's the more uh, typical sharing that you would expect where the uh, UI comes up and gives you all those options. Uh, as you may have seen already, that share button is seems like it's almost everywhere. And um, let me see, I might have to do a little refresh here on this. Uh, da, 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 let's go. All right, what we'll do is we'll switch to another environment here. So let's go to this guy. Always have a backup. There we go. All right. Cool. All right. So we're back up and running. What a different one here. Um, so, uh, yes. So sharing is almost everywhere. Again, if I come to chat, that same document, being that it was in my. Um, it was in my OneDrive. In this case, let's say with Nestor, instead of the way I did it before, I could have just inserted a file, OneDrive, picked a file, and share. And I'm going to get that same, uh, the same scenario, you know, scenario that I saw previously, where it's showing me a certain type of uh, default sharing. For which, in this case, I probably want to make sure it's the people currently in the chat. Okay. Uh, and you may notice in this one, I this particular environment, I can't share with anyone like I could in the other one. And in fact, in your environment, that's probably the case as well. It's usually disabled for our, a lot of orgs. Okay. So sharing, sharing is caring. Um, and then... Um, one other thing I'll mention related to sharing. So we know that in our meetings, we have meeting recordings. I don't know. Oh, here's one for instance. Um, right. We have meeting recordings and, and many times we want to share those. Usually they are shared uh, automatically with the people who joined the meeting in question. So that when, when they if they're in your org and they go click the recording they can they can view it if they're not in the org or if if for whatever reason it needs to also be shared um, in this case this one um, okay we don't have time for all of that um, let's get out of here uh, this would be shared in stream or SharePoint depending on on the context and you're going to have a share button there and you're going to have the ability uh, to share again. So I'm just bringing this up because this is, a, at least from my experience, this is a common sharing requ request. Uh, hey, share the video with me <clears throat> or, hey, I joined your meeting. I'm a guest in the org. I don't have access. Can you share it with me? Sometimes people will download the video and, and share it that way. If you do, again, I recommend downloading it to your OneDrive and then sharing it out of that as opposed to trying to email a 300 meg file to someone. There's no need to, uh, well, of course not no need, but the days of having to, sh to attach large documents to emails should be over because you can put it in OneDrive and share it more securely and more conveniently for that matter. So that is a uh, couple, couple, three ways of uh, sharing things here. Go back to this. I see the comment in the chat about PowerPoint Live. Yep, uh, I've talked about PowerPoint Live and other 
sessions. Uh, so yeah, I was just using PowerPoint here as just a particular kind of file so I could grab the, the um, file path there. But yeah, PowerPoint Live is, is awesome. My uh, preferred way of sharing when I want to have a nice elegant meeting that you know looks nice for the uh, other users in the meeting. PowerPoint Live is usually a lot nicer than just sharing my screen with the PowerPoint. I will say in the last Cute for Session, Cute for Team session, I think it was last week, uh, that's aka.ms slash Cute for Teams. PowerPoint Live came up um, in terms of the question of how to get sound in the PowerPoint Live. We kind of went back and forth on how that would work, whether I needed to embed the audio in the PowerPoint, all those kind of things. So still some things that PowerPoint Live could potentially do better depending on what your needs are. But yes, it is awesome. All right. So that was the quick. Uh, I'm trying to think of there are other things related to sharing. I wanted to uh, add here. It was the sharing of the link. Oh, and then um, just real quickly coming into Teams and Files, which is essentially SharePoint. Again, we have the share button. I click the the particular file I want to share. <clears throat> There's a share button there. Standard format. But what I did want to show is just go over to SharePoint where this file is actually located. Still have the share button there. But just to give you a little peek at what sharing kind of used to look like, it was really a lot more manual. If you see manage access, now I'm starting to get back behind the scenes of the sharing that is actually already on this doc, this file. You can see that because it's stored in a, the files area for a team, it is preset to be shared with certainly the owner of the team, but also the members with edit access and visitors with read access. So these are really, these are old school SharePoint group, group concepts here. If I pulled a, another curtain back behind all of this, we get back to super old school SharePoint permissions um, where we can stop inheriting. It's, you know, in the days of teams, I don't even, you know, I don't even know if people still even think about this inheritance concept, even though it's still there. But again, I can start to, con to edit even more change these groups. I could make this file just accessible by one person, even though it started out as a Teams file, all those kind of things. I can pop in here and um, start to, again, get into the guts of all the back end of what, you know, these permissions are happening. So this is, this is the world that SharePoint geeks like myself used to live in when it came to sharing, which makes us appreciate all the more this nice convenient share button that helps us ignore all of that. Last thing I'll say about sharing, we, we are basically talking about sharing with someone in the org, but again, um, remember that if I needed to share this with someone outside the org, you know, as long as they've got internet, I guess I can go with specific people and, um, oops. And then put, you know, their, email address there and uh, it's going to send them a link but it's also going to uh, require you know some authentication from them and things like that so again that's why I say it's the, not only a convenient way to share but also a secure way to share as well and maybe one day I'll demo that concept so you can see what the if that's a if that's a big topic of interest if you want to see what the end user who doesn't have a team's license and isn't in your org what would they see if i shared this file with them we could we could show that at some point but at this point though pretty much uh wrapping up this session i know you got to get started with your day um so i'm glad you joined me hopefully your coffee's still warm if not get a warm up um, but i hope this has been helpful this has been coffee with the cowbell mm -hmm.